Could we ever travel to another star? Not in science fiction, but in reality. Our nearest stellar neighbor Proxima Centauri beckons. It's the closest star to our sun, but close is a cosmic illusion. Proxima Centauri is over four light years away, a staggering 25 trillion miles. Our fastest spacecraft, Voyager 1, would take 75,000 years to complete the journey. Chemical rockets, the technology that took us to the moon, are simply not powerful enough. To cross this ocean of space, we need a new kind of ship. For a robotic probe, our best bet is a laser sail. Imagine a massive, powerful laser array on Earth, firing a beam at a giant, ultra-thin sail in space. The pressure of the light itself would push the sail, accelerating a tiny nanocraft probe to 20% of the speed of light. A project called Breakthrough Starshot is working on this right now, aiming for a journey time of just over 20 years. But to send humans? That requires a far more powerful solution, a fusion rocket, a ship that harnesses the same energy that powers the stars themselves. A fusion drive could, in theory, get a human crew to Proxima Centauri in about 40 years, a voyage within a single lifetime. But even with such a ship, the challenges are immense. The crew would need to be shielded from deadly cosmic radiation. They would need a perfectly closed life support system to survive for decades. And they would face the profound consequences of time dilation. While 40 years would pass for them, even more time would have passed back on Earth. They would arrive at a new star, forever cut off from the world they left behind. So could we ever travel to Proxima Centauri? A robotic probe is almost a certainty within the next century. A human mission remains a multi-generational dream, perhaps the single greatest technological leap humanity will ever attempt. It is a journey that will test the limits of our science, our engineering, and our spirit. But it is a journey that a future version of humanity might just be brave enough to take.